Alright, so Miguel's all back with a gameplay video, and this time we're playing Arabian Nights, released in 1993 by Chris Liss, if I got that correctly. So this game was, um, it, it, it's tough. It's, you've got to go around collecting things, collecting keys. It's a puzzle MLN platformer game. And my mate Dave, he got this from a market, and we had a couple of other games at the time. I think we had Pinball Dreams and we had Jaguar. And this game was pushed aside because it, it, it's very playable, but it, it it just didn't top it off in the games that we had on on that particular week. So I'm going to play the intro, which only takes a couple of seconds to load. So like any other Arabian Nights game, you've got to rescue your princess from the Red Dragon. So, as I was saying, Wes, he, he, he just absolutely fuming at this game sometimes, and he got the up with it, and he went to play Jaguar. So this game was pushed aside, and then I got this, um, then I got my Amiga 600. I gave it another go, and it, it, I, I did play it quite a bit. It was enjoyable, it was, and some bits were iffy, and it's a bit frustrating sometimes, especially some of the jumps. So Amiga Format gave it about 80% back in, um, I think, May. And CU Amiga gave it about 82%. So quite high, high 80s. <clears throat> Which is quite good. And I'm not sure if I did mention that the... Um, that the this game was um, by the same people that made um, um, Soccer Kid. And Soccer Kid was a, was a great little game, but the same thing. It, it it, it was like pushed aside a little bit due to other games, I think. But I'll get to that game when I get to it. So the drag, the the, the, the dungeon, no, I can't speak properly. The dun, dun, oh, the dungeon. <clears throat> so he's not going to be much use here. So um, he needs to get out. He does and rest, and try and rescue the princess. So it's loading off two discs, loading off this one in a second floppy drive at the moment. And it's just loading now. All right, get ready. <clears throat> so you get these chests, and you, they give you like keys and stuff like that. So hit the space bar to end up getting um, like helps, um, level ups, and certain weapons as well. So these jumps are quite iffy because like if you miss it, then you're in the acids, and then you end up just losing your health. And I think it clocks down pretty fast. So that's an energy unit, which I didn't really need. But <clears throat> and you've got these these doors you've got to open. So this is saying, oh, we need a, a winding handle. It's missing. Without that, I cannot bring down the prisoner down. So as I said, it's it's, it's a bit of like puzzle remnants. So I need to find a handle which is probably no doubt going to be that snake <clears throat> so the snake 
Um, I can, I, in other words, it can give you the snake, but I need 65 jewels. And I can buy the snake. So these things I'm picking up now, I've got to find 65 of them. So I've hit the space bar, it's got your affinity. So at the moment, it doesn't tell you. 56. I'm just looking at if they were like that colour, but the red. It's a bit odd. So I'm not sure how many I've got now. It's roughly worth four, well then. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up here and get a few more. And this door up here, I won't be able to get through because um, it needs another key. So this door looks different to all the others. <clears throat> so what I've got to do, I've got to tr try and lock pick it. So I'll come back down here. Down here, jab the fire button. And I think it's this one here. And this bit here is a bit iffy for some reason. You just got to time it just right. I'm not sure why, but it, 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 it feels like it was a bit iffy sometimes. I think that's it, I think I can just drive straight. Actually, I think there was a secret out there, I think. Snake through here? No. Back up here. So I've got the, the snake now, <clears throat> which means I can unlock this fella down here. I think I skipped it, but he said like, thank you and all that so now I've got the lot picks so I can carry on going up towards the um, that door up that other platform so I need to go back <coughs> I'm not gonna try that in case there was any secrets in that bit so it's back against this platform here I'm not sure if I needed them uh, jewels that was up, up here. I might have done without them, but... Yeah, I got through it. So I, that was the lock picks that I needed, that was. I would have thought that would have been a bit iffy then, because you needed the... Uh, I thought it was going to go lower, to, like to the fire, so you had to jump. So that was the two doors there. No, I think I've still got a lot of picks. So two energy units. I'm going to knock this bloke out. One more. Oh, okay, you needed another one. It took a lot more ammo than... I'm not sure what the maze dose does. Obviously, it probably would do something. What's that say? <coughs> the entrance to the magic part. So obviously down here. <clears throat> so you have to follow these arrows, which I would have thought it would have been a lot, probably better if you didn't follow, but it, it, I think the game would have got a bit frustrating. Right, one of these scrolls, skulls, skeleton heads. life left. Okay. I don't think this is going to be any... Oh, he's, that's handy. Two energy units. I think there was a... Yeah. <coughs> oh, oh. I remember that bit. For some reason, it just hanged to the right. And you can collect these just for um, sort of bonus points, really. I don't know if you do need them or if they build up your points after each level. Is that all of them? I think it was, yep. Yeah. Don't think there was anything else there. Let <coughs> me 
but so far I'm enjoying it. I am. It's, as I said, it's, 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 it's a nice little platformer with some um, with some nice puzzle remnants. All right, now I've got to select the lock pick because obviously I was on the key. Now it's stage one done. But yeah, graphics are nice and bold and colourful and everything, what you expect and things like that. Right, I just need to check the manual. Right, it's load, loading level two now, but I don't think that was too bad. I did have a quick go before, just to find out if it works, because like, there's no point in filming a game if, you, uh, if the discs don't work, which luckily enough they do. Just take this one out. I had this the 15th of May, 1993. 90, <clears throat> For some reason, ever since I was younger, I always wrote the date on the discs whenever I had it. So, yeah, 15th. Just double checking. Yeah, 15th of May, 1993. And it's still working, amazingly. So the forest, free at last, I heard that an old lady beyond the forest can make a flying carpet. So it's loading, loading level. I think this one, this level was a bit, out of some, not difficulties, but frustrating parts where you think, oh, I'm stuck, I don't know where to go. I didn't take too long. <coughs> right, let's give that a quick read. Right, welcome to welcome to the forest of Medbeh. But yeah, the game sort of gets a bit better. It reminds me a little bit of Chuck Rock 2. The actual graphics in it. And I think that the right channel music. Sort of like that Chuck Rock sounds. Just seeing if there was any. Um, oh, I'll skip that bit. But what I can remember is that what you got to do, you've got to collect um, that bloke's tears. So that bear that was standing up, standing up well on the tree, <coughs> you got to collect tears, what he's doing. So I need 50 coins. So he's, so he's taught us he's can dig through or turtles, whatever you're going to call them. Is there anything up here? Oh, I've been down there. Should I go down that one? So how many have I got now? 45, I 50, if so I remember. Yeah, that, that bear there, I've got to collect his tears. Nothing. Nothing there. So I'm at the start, so I'm not sure. I think this is the bit where we sort of didn't know where, what to do. There's fire down there. So I think that tree, that um, you can get boosted up there somehow. Nothing there. I'm trying to think where to go. Is it up here? There's nothing there. So I still need. I can't think where it was. There's nothing there. There's one, one little bit or something or another that, where you can go. <clears throat> but I can't find it. I don't 
don't know if it was up there. It's one of these trees you can sort of raise. That's the thing, you just it, it's a potluck that was. And where to find things. So now we can go back to them tortoises. <coughs> so lucky you can clear that jump. Because if you couldn't, it would be so annoying. <coughs> so, Bruce Hayes, you've just got the right amount of coins um, to pass this through, through the hill. Thanks, friends. So these things, are just digging through the mud. And they killed me. Don't stand too close, then. It's the first time I've known about that. It's just a real shame. Well, well, well. <laughs> Obviously, it's three of them. Right, so this granny says, aren't you... Aren't you so aren't you so cold? We need to knit you a lovely vest to keep you warm. But I'm all out of thread. So I need to get her some thread. But she's giving me the bucket, top right, top left side. Which means I can collect these tears. Which is a bit awkward because I go from the left to the right, so you've got to stand there. Is that it? It should come up with the bucket all, that's it, it's full now. So now I need to, is it this bit here? The little plant is using the magical tears. So yeah, so it's going to go up. down that platform, don't want to fall off. And a spool of thread. So obviously I need to go back to that granny with the with I don't know these ones, well, I don't want to, didn't want to do that. I did not want to do that. I'm just going to go back in this one. Just out of life, really. <clears throat> the granny says, I've lost my strength, um, fest pattern. So you'll be able to make me and, and um, what was it, do with a nice rug. So here you go. It's got some nice humour in it. Yeah, so it's just going to blow. So hopefully, what, what does she give me? Okay, that's it there, the magic carpet. I don't think there was anything on the other side, I don't think. Going back. Need some energy bars, that's what I need. Oh, trying to get down there. Let's get these coins. I think he's just coming up near the boss in a sec. There we go, the boss. <clears throat> so remember, you've got to knock that boulder at him, and he should end up dying. But it's a bit awkward, I think. I'm getting the timing right on it.
why can't I knock that? Then? If I've got him once. Shame there isn't many noises off like the rocks hitting the ground. Oh, come on. I think this is the last life. What's that missing? This is quite difficult, to be honest with you. Uh, I suppose I've got it on difficult. So, I'm going to leave it there because it's. it's, 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 it's it, I, I enjoyed it, I think. I did. It's that second, that first boss was annoying. But the music, again, for the Amiga is outstanding, in my, in my opinion. It is. So, as always, thanks for watching. Good night.